Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Planning and Teaching. Today's video is another Teacher Tuesday where I show you what I am doing this week in my classroom. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and flip over to September. And I do have a plan with me calendar, uh, monthly view coming for my teacher's edition on Friday. So make sure you go check that out. Um, so let's go ahead and get to this last day here. Go ahead and get to this last week here. So this is going to be week seven. And I'm gonna be using my Paper Mate um, Inkjoy gel pens. And I'm gonna use a green one. This is week seven. Since I had such a date fiasco last week, um, I made sure to check the date. So it is nine. 25 through 929, 928, 927, 926. All right. As always, we're grabbing our stickers. And I finally got my printer working. So I will definitely have a new sticker sheet for you along with the video next week so be sure that you stay tuned for that i'll probably have a sticker video up on um sunday and then we will start using those new stickers on tuesday so social studies reteach And next week, small groups. All right, so um, this week is going to be a little different um, because I'm going to be out. So it's going to be sub work on Thursday, but I'm going to really condense Monday through Wednesday to really get my lesson completed so the students will be ready. Um, I need a quote this week. You know, September, we're settling into school, but sometimes you need just a little bit of motivation. And I'm going to grab... this happy 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 sticker it's gold and it says happy 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 and I'm just gonna place this right up here so I still have writing space and I'm going to put this black happy day sticker right over here in the corner got it all right, so I'm gonna start planning with next week in mind. Um, just because it's going to be the end of nine weeks, so we have tons of things that we need to do and finish and get updated. So I'm just gonna grab this. Let's see. This sticker here. This sticker here. And this sticker here. So, so don't forget grades are due. The date they are due 
focus on review with anchor charts and then next week um, I want to edit the schedule based on how this week went um, condense time revise small groups and that's all that I need to focus on for next week um, so on reteach day for Wednesday is going to be a reteach of a couple of different things I want to reteach I'm going to be reteaching all this week and I'm going to be pulling students into my small group based on test scores. So tomorrow's reteach or Monday's reteach is going to be on sequence. And then this one will be cause and effect. And this one will be problem and solution. And this reteach on Friday will be based on the test that we take on Friday, and it will be point of view. All right. So those are my reteaching sections and I'm going to figure out a schedule for reteaching because I have to do reteaching and small groups and sometimes and you know this as teachers that is very hard to really get everything in so my goal for small groups this week the things that I want to do because I will be small group teaching every day this week So my goal is to read read leveled readers question AR quiz and review. This is my low group. And we're gonna be doing the same thing all week for all of these. So in social studies this week, we are going to, I'm gonna let my students quiz on Thursday with their social studies this week because the person that will be in my room subbing is our fourth, our fifth grade assistant. So, um, I'm not concerned with like cheating or anything like that going on, so I'm definitely going to let my students go ahead and quiz. So, or test, really, it's a test, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let my students test on Wednesday I mean on Thursday and Friday this week so they're testing on Thursday and they are testing on Friday all right so this one will be social studies week five and Wonders, week five. 
and this will also include their spelling words. Okay. Um, I normally do a spelling test separate, but uh oh, I shouldn't have done that. So we're gonna cover that up. I should not have put that there. I should have put it somewhere else. But everything is fixable with the sticker. Okay. So let's lay that on the place that it goes and go ahead and write on there. Testing, well, testing, spelling, and week five wonders. All right, so let's go straight down the list and get this side done today. So Monday we are reviewing our new paper. We are going to read article two and three. This week, then we're going to review article, discuss, all articles, complete crossword. Wednesday, they're going to do think and review. And review for tests. All right. This week in writing we are still working on narrative writing so tomorrow we're going to talk about pre-writing and we're also going to talk about our draft and we're still going to be talking about pre-writing and finishing up our draft then we're going to talk about revising and we're going to talk about revising on Friday Okay, and I'm going to give them like a little quiz on narratives on Wednesday, I think. I think that's what we want to do. Because we've been talking about narrative writing for so long, and I'm just giving like reviews. So I really want to kind of quiz them just about like the concept of narrative writing, what's included, um, and just how to do some things that way. I know that they completely understand narratives. So included in that quiz will be, so I'm going to shift the focus to language, will be simple compound and complex sentences. So we're going to review simple and compound sentences. And then we're going to review compound and complex. So now I know you're wondering, okay, so if you are already reviewing compound sentences, why are you reviewing them again on Tuesday? Well, because compound and complex sentences are very difficult for students to distinguish between the two. So by reviewing compound sentences alone, we will transition into compound sentences again, and then I can show them the difference, remind them of the differences between the two. Um, and then in reading, we are talking about point of view. And we're gonna complete our reading, writing, workshop story we're going to literature anthology so we're going to listen to this one and review point of view and then I am going to um Talk about Greek and Latin root words. And 
and then the genre that we're going to be well we're not going to do that we're going to talk about the genre here persuasive articles so on thursday they are going to be writing the entire time so students and i'm going to write all across will write a complete draft based on a writing prompt they will have a rubric to follow and must turn in completed draft now I will um, also include a video for the students to watch just because I want to remind them of all the things that they need to include and kind of go over the rubric even more even though I will go over what they're going to be doing on Thursday on Wednesday if that makes sense so that's gonna wrap this up, other than I'm gonna place a couple of stickers down. Um, just for motivation. When nothing is sure, everything is possible. And I love this Get It Done sticker here, and I'm gonna place it right here on for Friday. Well, for next week, just to give me a little motivation. And then I'm going to lay Um, this fall sticker right here. Okay, so that's going to wrap up my plan with me in my teacher edition. And please stay tuned on Friday where I will be giving you a monthly view for my teacher edition as well as a monthly view for my mini planner. And finally, I will be completing a um, how-to video on Sunday on how to do these stickers. And we'll be using the new ones next week. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I always respond to everyone's, either liking them or actually responding, depending on what the comment is. And I thank you so much for watching this video. Keep God first in everything you do. Give this video a thumbs up and click that red subscribe button. It's free. Follow me on all of my social media channels. They are down below. And happy planning and teaching you guys. Bye.